hope everyone's okay out there. Yeah. I guess everyone's getting a, a lesson on the, uh, the, the reality of the police force today. The armed fist of the capitalist state. <laughs> Here we go. So today, we are down in Duarte Square, which is a public area in Lower Manhattan, Lower Western Manhattan, and we're having a huge party. And we're having a huge party to celebrate our three-month anniversary and the International Day of Tenting. Members of the New York City faith community reached out to us and said, you know, we know that you've been working with Trinity Church, a long-standing historic church institution and a billion-dollar real estate corporation. And we thought that because they have this beautiful abandoned plot of land right here that they can't build on right now, we thought that there was a chance that they would allow us to work with them and work with the community to create a place where free speech and right to assemble really thrives in Lower Manhattan. Power is consolidated in the hands of a few. And we talk about Trinity Church and they've been our allies absolutely, but the people calling the shots right now are the vestry. And the people who are sitting in the vestry and have that position are people who work on Wall Street. And I'm not saying those are bad people. They're probably amazing people who've done incredible things for the community. But I'm saying that power in this city and in this world is concentrated on Wall Street. And I know we've come a mile away from Wall Street, but this is Wall Street still. All over the place, it's controlled by Wall Street. The foreclosed homes out in East New York, those are controlled by these banks. It's all connected, and that's why our message seems diffuse, but it's really very clear. It's about consolidation of power, and it's about the 99% rising up and lobbying, essentially, to control our country. So, I mean, the same way that we're chanting here, we are the 99%, that's what collective voice allows us to do raise our voices louder than they could be individually, and collective voice gives rise to collective action. But to have that collective voice, we need a space to raise that voice. We will never change. Wall Street started 
that we would have changed the conversation in the United States and in fact around the globe by this movement. So we do not know where we go from here. One thing we ought to be sure of, that we will stay together in attacking the source of America's injustices, and that is Wall Street.